The Pendleton District was to be split. This decision was made in 1826, and that's what created Anderson and Pickens Districts. And both of them would need new seats of government because Pendleton was too close to the line. So a commission of, of five men was established and they were to determine where the courthouse was gonna be for Anderson County. And they had gone back and forth up and down the General's Road and discussed different locations. One of the options was actually a place called Whitehall which would be really close to the intersection there at Whitehall Road and North Main today. But they ended up <laughs> making their decision in an unusual way. Apparently there had been a particularly long discussion this day and one of the commissioners named Robert Brown Norris walked out of the tavern, he had had enough, and he poked his, sometimes it's called a staff and sometimes it's just called a stick, but he stabbed it into the ground and said, this is the southeast corner of the courthouse and who says no has me to whip. So he was ready to fight the, by the end of the argument. But that happened to have occurred right directly between today's Benson and Whitner Streets where the historic courthouse stands currently, although that's not the original building. The original building would have been constructed when? It would have been constructed somewhere around 1828 and that first term of court held within a few years of that. And then Anderson was referred to as Anderson Courthouse for a number of years even after Anderson as a city was incorporated in 1833. But that Anderson Courthouse kind of hung around also in, in the language for 50 years or more or so. The 1897 Courthouse, the, what we call the historic courthouse, was a new construction when it was built. The original courthouse would have been a log structure and then that would have been sort of renovated into the second form of the courthouse, and then that would have been destroyed to make way for the current historic courthouse.